Hello everyone, my name is Michael Kay and welcome to another Replica Air Guns tutorial video. Today we're looking at how to age your gun or make your gun look older or more vintage. And this idea came to mind when I was reviewing my Umarex P08 and I mentioned that the finish was seeming to wear off fairly easily. It was starting to wear off right here on the high spots. Now you'll see that my gun is nice and sort of age looking here. And you're probably wondering how I did this. I was thinking about using sandpaper. I thought that might be a little too aggressive. It would leave little scratch marks in it. I didn't want to actually leave scratch marks because more or less this wear is something that would normally happen over time rubbing up against your pants, putting them in a holster, putting the gun in a holster, just wearing on your hand and it would be a softer wear, most of it on the edges. I didn't want scratches all over the gun. I just wanted it to be worn looking so I thought how or what would be the best way to do this. So I thought one other product I've used before that actually will wear paint off your walls if you scrub it too hard is one of these magic erasers. Now this is just a generic store-bought one. It's not even a real magic eraser. It's just a generic one. But it does seem to work. Now I've wet it a little bit. You have to wet these a little bit. Not too much. And I've already done, now this is a new one, but I've already done the one side here. You can see how it's all kind of worn looking. Looks pretty cool, hey? Eh? The high spots. Done a little bit on the top. A little bit on the front here. On the trigger guard. And I thought, you know, on something like this, an old Luger P08, it's going to make it look more realistic, more authentic. And with other guns, like, say, the Tenfoglio Witness 1911, KWC 1911s, they seem to have this sort of paint issue where the paint wears off on the high spots. But if you're looking at a gun, especially like a 1911, something classic, something vintage, something like that, then having some wear marks isn't so bad. It's not a bad idea. And if you're already getting some wear marks, you might as well add a few if that's the look you're going for. And with this gun, for sure, I love the way it looks. So I'm just going to quickly kind of do the other side. I haven't really done the other side. We'll see how it goes. You see how it's pretty much a couple little marks on it, but it's pretty clean. It's not really worn too much. So we'll just start. It does take a little bit of time with the Magic Eraser here to wear it. Depending on how much paint is in the area. Actually, I might need some more water. This is dried out a little bit, but you can see how the paint is coming off on this guy. And I don't want to do too much in the lettering here because I don't want that lettering to stand out too much. But let's just keep doing this. You will get a lot of, see the back starting to wear there a little bit on that outer edge. There seems to be a lot of paint right here on this bar. So this bar is going to take a little bit. I'm going to go to town on it. Wow. See that area has a lot of paint on it, especially on the edges. But that's okay. The nice thing about this method is you're not going to overdo it too easy. If you're using sandpaper, you could kind of go too far with it real easy. Maybe do something you regret. With this, it's sort of a gradual process. So you're not going to accidentally like gouge out too much paint. I'm doing the trigger guard. You'll need, I've got quite a bit on there, that's okay. I'm gonna just hit this area right here. And it's naturally going to just work on the high spots because that's the part that you're putting pressure on. See how that's coming off nice there. It's looking 
good. And you're gonna get a lot of kind of this paint looking stuff going all over the place. Black's gonna end up everywhere, that's okay. You can really do as much or as little as you want. And like I said, the nice thing is, is that this guy, this magic eraser, kind of does it gradually. It's not gonna rub it off too quickly. Take some time for it to come off. And I think I'm pretty much where I wanna be with this guy, at least on this side. Maybe a little around the trigger guard here, a little bit more. I may even go back and hit the other side a bit more because I kind of like what I've done here around the trigger guard. Let's take a quick look. Clean that up a little. Just to take a look. I'll do the other side later, but I want to show you kind of what I did quickly. All right. Get that mess out of the way. So, you can see here, kind of wore it off around the high spots again where you normally would get wear on a gun kind of on that edges wore some of this off where you'd find wear just along the high spots looks good around the trigger guard looks a lot more authentic I think what do you think let me know all right looking good So, hope that helps you guys out. I like my new Luger now, my PO8. Looks more like the real thing now. But hard to tell, be really hard to tell the difference. Alright, so thanks for watching another Replica Air Guns video. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out. Also, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Username is Replica Air Guns. Also, come down to our Replica Air Guns website. Visit us there. We have our Canada and US stores where we sell air guns, airsoft guns, blank guns, accessories, whole bunch of stuff. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.